What is going on everybody? Canuck here and welcome to another PGA Tour 2K23 preview video. And today we are going to check out a brand new type of swing. We are going to be testing out the all new three click swing system, which I am having a lot of fun with. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but I'm really enjoying it. It's a nice refreshing change from the swing stick. Is it something I'm going to be using all the time? I don't think so, but I could see myself playing quite a few rounds with three click swing. It's a lot of fun. So today we are going to be checking out St. George's Golf Club, a uh, new Canadian addition to the official course list of the RBC Canadian Open. We are dialing it back to master difficulty for this round of three click. And uh, I think we'll just check out the settings. We'll just up the wind speed to high. We've been doing it for all these other playthrough videos. And uh, without further ado, let's get going here. St. George's Golf Club on three click. All right, here we are. And comparing my golfer to uh, our legend round that we did last video, we're still using the powerhouse archetype and the skills. We haven't really changed any of that because I'm literally recording this right after that legend round. So we haven't really changed much. So as you can see there on the right hand side, we have a very different looking swing meter. And this is not your traditional three click swing. It's more like a click, hold, release, click, click. So we're trying to hold it down and release it in this little white area here. If you can see on my cursor, there it is. And then when we let it go, it will move upwards. We're going to try to get as closest to that top part. And then on the way down, we get as close to the bottom part. So uh, I haven't played three click in a while, so we'll see how this the first little bit goes. But I do find I get the hang of it after after a few holes, at least I hope I will. So here we go, St. George's Golf Club. Okay, not bad. Not bad on the downswing. The, uh, the top part was a little off. But we'll take it. Gonna hug the right side of the fairway. Nice little short par four to start here. Okay, so I think we're gonna be hitting the... So as you can see, if you move the cursor back and forth, the circle gets bigger and smaller. So you can kind of dial in where you want to put it. And then that kind of helps you dial in your distance a little bit. So let's give this a try. Uh, not bad. There we go. Take it. All right. And the putting is more of a two click. You just got to hold, release, and then click again. Not a great putt there. But we'll tap it in. No problem. For our part. Heading to the second. Okay, 487 long par four. Ooh, I definitely missed it on the downswing. And we're going to pay for this a bit, especially with that wind. Watch out, everybody. Not a great shot there. We're going to be hacking it out of the heavy rough. Mm, 15. Once, I think we're going to go up one more club here. There we go. That was hit pretty well. Come on, wind. Bring that back a bit. Not as much as I thought it was going to. Landing on the green. Ugh, just falling off a bit. Okay. Little chip. Ooh, oh, 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 I thought I, uh, I thought I hooked that way too far. It was just kind of zoned out and just kind of hit it, and it worked out. But yeah, let's not make that mistake again. Tap it in for the par. Yeah, it's a, it's a really fun game mode, I'm, or a fun fun way to play. It's I don't think it's going to be a, something that's going to replace the th the uh, the regular swing. I think there's going to be people that enjoy this and make this their main way of playing or their only way of playing. 
And I think there's going to be people that are going to hate it. But uh, who, at the end of the day, who cares? It's another way to play the game. And the more of that, the better. The more of that, the better. Now, I ha we haven't had a lot of diving in with societies and stuff yet. Um, I may have to ask a couple other people about confirming this, is if you can lock certain societies to three-click only. I um, feel like you should be able to. But having a like three-click, having a society that you join where it's three-click, I think would be pretty cool. I think we've hit that short. We're a little short of that MIG circle. And yep, we are short. But yeah, I could imagine, you know, joining a society that's three-click and in addition to other societies I'm playing, that would be a, a lot of fun. Way to mix it up. Ooh, look at this fairway here on four. Wow. Uh, okay, I think the wind should be able to knock this down enough. That's better. So we're struggling to get those perfects, but not bad. And if you do hit into the red, you will get a higher, like, more than 100 percentage. But if you go too far, it doesn't do anything. Ooh, I think we're going to go two clubs up here. So there, I got 104 because I went into the red a bit. And this is terrible. Oh, this is going to hit this hard. Ooh, we got a tricky little flop shot, I think, here, coming up. So we got to get this distance dialed in. How about there? Get a bounce. Ooh, it did. Ah, then it checked up. Then it just checked up. All right, tricky one for par here. Get him. Ooh, big putt. Huge putt. Four in a row. Keeping us at even par. Let's see if we can actually get an under par round here. All the rounds I've shown you guys, I failed to get under par. I have hit under par rounds in this game. Just not the ones I'm recording, of course. It is what it is. Tricky shot here. This is a crazy green. These bunkers? Wow. Okay. Well, we're going to have to hit a lob. Thing is, is you can dial in the distance uh, a little bit easier here because you can kind of just set where... I, I'm not sure if that's uh, something you can turn off. But I can find... You can dial in like an 85 or an 86. So distance control seems to be a little bit easier with three click. Ooh, look at that. A little spin back. Get him. Yes. There's a birdie. Yeah, I can see that making three click maybe a little bit easier, you being able to dial that distance in. Oh, look at that. Those wooden steps there. That's pretty cool. If only we could get that in the designer. Maybe. Maybe. And uh, I know for those who are people that are patiently... Look at these. Sorry, uh, I'm getting distracted at... Uh, these course assets that I would love to have in the designer, but not uh, not sure if they're going to be there or not, at least not right now. Lots more designer news. I know a lot of you are anxiously awaiting designer feedback or designer showcasing and opinions and all that stuff. I've used the designer quite a bit here in 2K23. I can't wait to give you guys my opinions on it. I can't wait to show you it. Unfortunately, embargoes and NDAs and all that fun stuff is preventing me from showing it to you right now. But uh, I can almost guarantee that before release, you will get... Bas you'll basically get to see the whole designer. So you will get to see the whole designer because I'm going to show it to you. We'll look at this putt. So just be patient. Time, the time will come. All right, off to the seventh. Crazy wind here. Ooh. Okay. Well, that's not even gonna get to just 275. We're gonna go two clubs up here. There we go. We're definitely locking in that uh, three click, getting the tempo down a bit more. Ooh, I like it. Ooh, a little bit of spin again, though. 
I, I think having the spin skills and stuff... Well, actually, irons I don't have any spin skills on. Just, I don't know, I've just noticed this ball's spinning a little bit more than it was in 21, which was sorely needed, but maybe I'm hallucinating. I don't know. Again, it's just something I haven't had enough time to really fully test yet. So, oh, this is a nasty, nasty hole with this wind. Okay, well, we're going to do our best here. Let's hit very well. Oh, uh, that needs to hit. Oh, that's going to. This should hit sharp right now. As sharp right as I would have liked. Get in there. Chip in. Yes! We got one! We got one! The chipping is definitely easier on three-click. Um, through my testing and stuff, I can tell you that right now. It's... It is definitely easier. But uh, still not as easy as it was in 2K21. There's a big putt. Big putt. Big chip, I should say. All right. Gets us to two under. The R is still in red figures here. As we hit the par five ninth hole. And we have hammered that. That's where we want to be. 179 into a big tailwind here. I think we're going to go a couple clubs down. Hitting a 9-iron into this. Oh, that's flushed. Oh, maybe the wind. Oh, big bounce. Really big bounce. Get in the hole. Wow, what a shot. Shot of the day there. There we go. And we're four under. And again, it also could be, you know, a lot of things influencing. But yeah, three click, I'm finding definitely easier than um, analog stick for sure. But also at time of this recording, I have played a few rounds today. So it could be I'm just a little more warmed up than I usually am too. But yeah, again, still with limited time with this build, it's it's hard to really get an idea of a lot of things with skill, uh, difficulty and all that yet, but I'm having fun regardless. I am having a lot of fun regardless. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how easy or difficult the game is. There's always going to be someone out there that's going to absolutely obliterate <laughs> courses, no matter how hard they make it. Oh. I do think people are going to enjoy the different ways to play and the different types of skill levels and all that. Just like 21. I think it's just just been balanced a little a little bit differently, so and in a good way. I am I'm, I'm very much enjoying playing the game this year. Not that I didn't in 2K21, but just the way the ball behaves and it just seems it's it's a lot more realistic it just feels a lot more realistic and it's a lot more rewarding too it's more like real golf i think a lot of people were afraid with all the all the skills and attributes and all that stuff yes they affect your golfer but at the end of the day you're still playing a pretty tough simulation based golf game Ooh, that's a cool look all right, we're six under. We're ten. We are playing very well here. And I have tried Legend three click. It's just that stick moves faster, and those that yellow part is a lot, a lot smaller. And again, it is just something I'm I'm hoping for, especially at the higher difficulties. Just making those misses a little more penalizing. I don't know what happened there, but that was a terrible golf shot. An absolutely terrible golf shot there. All right, splash it out. Ooh, great shot there. Ooh. And, oh, I missed that. Are you kidding? Oh my God, that rolled out like crazy. No, stop. Wow. 
Oh, this is hit too hard. Oh, we're having a nightmare here. What is going on? Every time in my videos when I seem to talk about difficulty and how something is way too easy or way too hard, I always get bit on the very next hole. It's hilarious. I like the game listens to me and it's like, well, I'll show you. Oh, I pulled that. I pulled it. Get over there. Get over. Get over. Yep. Gonna get over. Back of the green, though. This is gonna be a monster. 59 feet. Down two. A bit of a pull. Crap. There we go. Get in. Ooh, almost another chip in. I'm gonna take another bogey. But yeah, I really think at the end of the day, everyone's worrying about these skills and archetypes and fittings and all that. Or, you know, they're really taking away from the sim part. But at the end of the day, you still have to make shots. It's not like you're leveling your guy up to level 100 and you basically press a button and you're getting birdies. You still have to execute the shot. And... As you can see, by no means is someone, you know, I'm a level 11, I've put, I don't know how many hours into this so far, but I'm still, still struggling. We're still struggling out there. And, you know, I consider myself to be an above average player for sure. So. I really think the bulk of the community is going to enjoy this. 38 feet. That's hit well. Just did I read it right? No. I didn't. Right, let's tap it in. I have not seen gimmies yet. I think people have been wondering, are there gimmies? That's one disappointing thing I wonder I wonder why they don't have. I guess when you're playing one-on-one -on -one against somebody. So maybe I haven't seen it yet, but I don't see any is that you would be able to turn gimmies on or off, right? So that would have been something that would have been a nice, but... Oh, wow, this is really narrow, isn't it? We're gonna hit driver. It wouldn't be around without a driver off the deck. There it is. Not quite getting the roll. Oh, I've hit this much too hard. Much too hard. Way past where we were supposed to. So yeah, again, three-click does a lot of the distance control for you. It seems... Oh, wow. I'm not sure if that is something you can turn off or not. Again, something I do have to test a little bit more. Wow. We were looking really good early. Wheels falling off here. Let's see if we can still stay under par at least. Definitely missed there. Just going to be short. Ooh, I like this. I like it. I like it. I like it. Come on. Not quite. All right. In for par as we head to 17. Very long par four here. Put this tail in. We should be able to absolutely bomb it over these trees. And we do. Wow, we hit that a long way. 357. It's just leaving us a little sand wedge here. Ooh, come on. Come on. This needs a big bounce. Oh, a little bit of spin. Checked up too much there. Short, maybe. Yep. Not enough gusto on that one. All right. Heading to 18 here. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people will find some enjoyment out of the three-click swing. It's something different. Um, it's just, it's, it's just fun. I don't, I don't know what else to say. You guys got to experience it for yourself. Some people won't like it. That's fine. You don't have to play it. Some people will love it. Let's take a look at that clubhouse. Is there a little Saint custom St. George's there? There is, too. Oh, and a Canadian flag! I'm sorry. Please put that in the designer. 
It waves and everything. Oh my goodness. Wow. I had to take a picture of that because that was beautiful. It was beautiful to see. I'd love to have actual waving flags. Oh no, I've hit that way too hard. I've hit that way too hard. Get in. Get in. There's a way to finish. Yes! Huge chip in to finish the round. Oh, that was fun. Heck of a way to finish. That was going down the hill and maybe off the green if I did not hit the pin there. Oh, I hit exit. Sorry, it disappeared. That wasn't glitched. I just hit exit too early. There is our round at St. George's on three click. That was a ton of fun. Again, I enjoyed it. I think it's definitely easier than swing stick the three click, but uh, not a lot easier, not not significantly, but it does do that distance control a bit more for you. And again, I'm wondering if that's something you can turn on or off or off specifically. But uh, again, we'll have to see. So there we are. Let's see what we unlocked. Anything interesting? Oh, we have a wedge power head, a little power off the, uh, the wedge. Interesting. And swing path, transition, shaping, lie range boost, and a level reward, which is always good. So everybody, thank you again for watching. Uh, really, really enjoying bringing these preview videos to you. Um, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you next time.